Good evening. You may be seated. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Professional Academies Magnet at Lofton High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. I think we can all agree this has been a school year like no other, but we did make it to the finish line. A friendly reminder to please silence your cell phones if you have not already done so. I would also like to take this moment to thank the Florida Credit Union for providing us the opportunity to live stream this graduation ceremony. At this time, please stand as the Academy of Fire and Emergency Medical Services Honor Guard presents the colors and remain standing as Cadet Jalen Willis leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which I stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jalen. <laughs> and thank you to the color guard. At this time, I would like, uh, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize those individuals who are seated on the stage this evening. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Starting to the far right, we have school board member Robert Hyatt. To his left, is Deputy Superintendent Donna Jones. To her left is School Board Member Diane McGraw. To her left is School Board Chair Dr. Lynette Manili. To my immediate left is Assistant Principal for Lofton High School, Ms. Cheryl Allen. To her left is Ms. Princella Thorpe from the Alachua County Education Foundation. And to her left is the Santa Fe Foundation Scholarship, Mr. Lawrence Lipp. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing our guests on the stage tonight. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Thorpe to the podium to announce the Education of Alachua County Scholarships. Students, please stand when you hear your name and remain standing until all students have been recognized. Huh. 
Good evening. As Ms. Principal McElroy mentioned earlier, my name is Princella Thorpe, and I am a college success coach for the Education Foundation of Alachua County. Tonight, I'm here recognizing two groups of the students receiving scholarships through our foundation. First, we will recognize our Take Stock and Children seniors who have been enrolled in this program with our foundation since middle school. Then we will recognize the senior scholarship recipients who have applied earlier this year to the Foundation for College Scholarships that are sponsored by individuals, civic groups, and businesses in our community. Overall, the Education Foundation is awarding $692,150 to 99 seniors this year. Let's give them all a hand clap. The group of students I'd like to recognize first in our Take Stock and Children Scholars. Take Stock and Children is a scholarship program and mentoring program, scholarship and mentoring program run by our foundation, and these students signed a contract in seventh grade agreeing to maintain at least a 2.5 GPA, unweighted, staying drug and crime free, meet weekly with a volunteer mentor, and adhere to school attendance and behavior policies. They are being recognized tonight because they have kept all of the points and policies to the contract. We are proud to present them with the Florida Prepaid Tuition Scholarship. First, we'd recognize Mr. Mark Bryant, and the college he will be attending is Santa Fe College in Graphic Design. We will then recognize Mr. Al Patrick. We call him A.J. McCleary, Jr. He'll also be attending Santa Fe College in Digital Media Technology. We'll then recognize Gregory Melendez, Santa Fe College. Amber Robinson, Santa Fe College. Trevor Smith, Santa Fe College. Ayanna Thornton, Ringling College of Art and Design. Derek Williams, Jr., JTEC in Jacksonville, Florida. Audra Wolford, Santa Fe College. And last but not least, Caleb Zinn, University of Florida. I'd like to now recognize our senior scholarship recipients. We had over 293 high school seniors apply for our scholarship. We are awarded 56 with college scholarships. These scholarships range from scholarships from 60,000 scholarships and are meant to be used to help expenses such as tuition fees, tuition fees and books. We have a number of scholarships who have been created in memory of those that have went on. These have been set up in honor of persons that have helped keep their memories alive. Sending students to college, it is a great pleasure to work with their families and members and other great people. Mark Bryant is also a recipient for the Dr. Don Dan McMahon Memorial for a $2,000 scholarship. Trevor Smith is also a recipient of the Gainesville Charitable Foundation $1,000 scholarship. Brianna Crosby is a recipient of the Pickinson 2000 scholarship. And finally, Caleb Zinn is also a recipient of the Pickinson $2,000 scholarship. Let's give them all one, one, another hand. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Thorpe, and congratulations to all those students. Ladies and gentlemen, join me one more time in congratulating our Education Foundation Scholarship winners. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite to the podium Mr. Lawrence Lipp to announce the Santa Fe Foundation Scholarships. Again, students, please stand when you hear your name and remain standing until all students have been recognized. Mr. Lipp. Hello, I am Lauren Slip, representing the Santa Fe College Foundation. Santa Fe College is excited that many of you have chosen to join our learning community in the fall. 
The Santa Fe College Foundation will award 669 awards valued at over $1.6 million for the 2021-2022 academic year. Individual scholarships range from $1,000 to $3,000 per year per student. Some of the awards are given as memorials for loved ones, in honor of friends and family, or just because the donors want to give back to their community. We still have thousands of dollars to give away, so when you go home, please go to our website and fill out an application. Without further ado, I'm honored to represent Santa Fe College, the Santa Fe College Foundation, and the many donors in awarding, the, in awarding scholarships to the following students. Caleb Zinn. <laughs> Brianna Crosby. <laughs> Elias Medrano. Tobias Crane, and Demetrius Blanton. I will leave your awards with Mr. McElroy, and he can give them to you later. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Lip. And again, ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating all the students who received Santa Fe scholarships with my students. <laughs> Job well done, students. At this time, I would like to invite our English department chair, Ms. Donna Faust, to the stage to present the President's Awards for Academic Excellence and Achievement. Again, students, stand when you hear your name, and please remain standing until all students have been recognized. Let's welcome Ms. Faust to the stage. Good evening. I'm going to read a portion uh, from this president notice. Congratulations on receiving the 2021 President's, and President's Education Award. America is a country where we are one and unite through tough times. You are the future leaders of this great nation, and through your determination and resilience to push forward, you have reached this ultimate accomplishment of being recognized for this prestigious award. I'll ask that you stand as I announce your name, and I'll begin with the Silver Awards. Haley Shepard. <laughs> Issam al Ghali. <laughs> Chase Floyd. Jalen Willis. Christian Pesciuto. Ayana Thornton. Andrea Fowler Wilson. Sadie Bullock. Kevin Guadalupe, Garrett Castles, Raymond Shiver, Alana O'Neill, and Amber Robinson. Right, thank you. Going to go now to the Gold Awards. Thomas Lakindi, <laughs> Elias Medrano, <laughs> Mario Vargas Ramirez, <laughs> Earl Faraun, <laughs> Mark Bryant. Caleb Zinn, Cordero Gonzalez, Ian Sailors, Miles Masakola, J. 
Garcom. Gregory Melendez. Demetrius Blanton. Derek Williams. Vivian Wilburn. Dalton Miller. Brianna Crosby. Logan Proferas. Patrick Warren. Omar Haddock. Cree Trimble. <laughs> Tobias Crane. Trevor Smith. Al Patrick McCleary. Rudy Wagstaff. And then Tavion Russian. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Ms. Fells. Ladies and gentlemen, let's one more time congratulate all of the students we saw for their presidential awards of academic excellence. At this time, I would like, like to recognize a senior who is chosen by the administration each year for the Lofton Eagle Spirit Award. This student embodies the spirit of Lofton High School. This is always a very difficult call as I believe we have the best and hardest working students in the county. They, along with the best teaching and support staff, is why we're an A-rated school. The Eagle Spirit Award for the class of 2021 goes to a young lady who has shined from the moment she arrived. She has been a star in our Institute of Graphic Art and Design, better known as IGAD. She has served as the yearbook editor for the past two years, a publication that's been recognized with a bronze medal and perhaps a gold for this year. She was an Adobe National Champion and will be attending the Ringling School of Art and Design on a $40,000 scholarship. And this past year, she did much of her work remotely. At this time, I would ask Cree Trimble to stand up and be recognized as the Eagle Award recipient. Yeah. At this time, I would like to invite Zantavion Rushing to the stage as our 2021 senior speaker. Zantavion is a remarkable young man. He served as the president of our Hope Squad and always seemed to be there to console someone in need or just lend a shoulder to lean on. His calm and warm disposition made him perfect for that role. Zantavion is also a gifted athlete. He played football and wrestled for Eastside High School, where he was also a member of the track and field and weightlifting teams. In the fall, he is heading to Stetson University to study computer science engineering. Please join me in welcoming Zantavion to the stage. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Intavion Rushing, better known as Zay. Today is a magnificent day. Today is the day that history is made. Today is the day that a class of 2021 is graduating. Today isn't just another day for you or me, but it's an everlasting moment. This moment will never be forgotten, no matter what path we took to get here, no matter what troubles we have faced, this moment is something we will always remember as the day that the 2021 class 
started our takeover of this world. It took us four years as Eagles to get to this moment. In four years enrolled at Lofton High School, we have made some amazing memories. We have created more than just friends here. We have created a family. Within those four years, we have grown so much together, whether we knew each other well or not. Through every hard class and all unnecessary drama we've made, we have grown into some amazing people. Thanks to these four, last four years, I personally have grown in a way I never thought was possible. In just four years, thanks to the help of teachers, staff, family, friends, the ones closest to me, and my mother, I have become an outspoken advocate for the important foundations in my life. If any of you were like me, you probably thought you would never see today. You probably thought you would have dropped out by now doing something else than this. But I want to congratulate you, because not only did you make it through every hard class, but you made it to here. High school is tough. We all should know that. I want to say congratulations to not only being a high school student for these past four years, but being able to go to high school through this pandemic. I wanted to say congratulations through all the troubles you have been through. Trust me, I know it's get rough. I'm a full-time student, a part-time cashier, and I played football, track, weightlifting, and served in many clubs at both Lofton and Eastside High School. That was just this year. Today, we can say that we made it with our heads held up high. For every bad day, for every bad moment, for every stressful situation, I congratulate you because not only did you make it through, but you made it to today. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with this. Remember, don't let anyone or anything change you. We are all intelligent minds that have been battle tested from multiple years of school. No matter what the trouble or situation you face, remember you can overcome it. Remember you are stronger and smarter than what others think. And remember, no matter what happens after today, the world is your playground, so enjoy it. No matter what you choose to do with your life, if you wish to go to college, like me, go straight into the workforce, or just chill for a little bit, enjoy it. To my class of 2021, I congratulate you all, and good luck. Thank you. It is now the time that most of you have been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. Parents, we do have a professional photographer who will take photos of every graduate, and those will be available online. Ladies and gentlemen, we encourage you to celebrate your graduate, as names are called, but ask that you allow all families that same courtesy. As we present our senior class, our honor graduates are recognized by wearing a gold and red cord, which reflects a weighted GPA of 3.5 or higher. Our highest honor students are wearing a red medallion to reflect a grade point average of 4.2 or higher. The valedictorian, Thomas Lil Kennedy, and salutatorian, Elias Medrano, are honored for their achievement by wearing a stole. We also give special recognition to our Career and Technical Academy program completers who are wearing white cords. At this time, please join me in welcoming Ms. Cheryl Allen, our assistant principal, who is retiring this year after a long and stellar career as an educator and administrator. We, we really aren't where we are without Ms. Allen. Please welcome her to the stage as we present our diplomas. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us in this great ceremony that we celebrate every year. This is my 11th graduation with Lofton High School. I have enjoyed every one of them. I can hardly believe that I have just a few days left at PAM at Lofton High School, as we say weekly. I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed you, class. Some of you I know well, some of you not as well, but I can truly say that you all have grown since ninth grade. It's always amazing for us educators to see you when you come in as freshmen. And then the very next year, it seems like you have grown two or three inches. Keep growing, keep growing. Before we get to that moment that we have all waited for, I do want to just say a few things. But graduates, the auditorium is full of people who have helped you along the way. So graduates, I would like you to stand up right now. Yes, go ahead and stand up. Look around the room to your left and to your right and upstairs at all the people who love you most and those watching on live stream and wave and applaud them as you say thank you for their help getting you here today. And students, to your right would be the faculty and staff of Lofton High School whom, without their help, some of you may not be standing here today. They work tirelessly. They're always on you to get you here. Please acknowledge them. If the faculty and staff to my left would please stand, and graduates, if you would give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Graduates, you can sit down. I have just a little bit more to say. Just building up the anticipation of your name, that's all. Zantavian said it's been four years, and it has. But your parents, your guardians, your aunts, your grandparents, your uncles, your family started you on your education journey. Some in preschool, everyone in kindergarten. So that has been 13 years that you have followed and done what you needed to do. When you were in kindergarten and first grade, your teachers told you to sit on a mat that was multicolored, you lined up in a line, you held hands, you walked in a straight line. And this past year, we told you, don't get near each other and don't hold hands. 2021 has really been something. We applaud you all, your tenacity, your determination. There were lots of rules. You followed all of them. As when you walk across the stage and out the Phillips Center doors, you are entering a new life, a life that only you can make. Your family is going to help you decide. The Lofton staff and I wish for you a long, healthy, happy life, doing whatever it is you have given great thought to and that you choose your life, another part of it is just beginning. Take joy in it. There will be ups and downs. When you fall down, the key word being when, all of us have fallen. You are only in the valley until you pull yourself up to reach the mountaintop. Some of you have already been through struggles. You're still sitting here today. So I'm going to just leave you with one little story 
that I remember from two or three years ago, and it's about one of you. I thought about it earlier this week, and I said, maybe it's something that you all will remember. I will always remember it. I was in my office, you know, my office is upstairs, above the media center. And sometimes you all think, if I call you to my office, you're in trouble. But you may not have been. It may have been about something else. So I called this young person to my office, and we were talking about the future. And this person happens to be in the FIRE EMS Academy. And this person is a young man, and we were talking about what he wanted to do with his life. Ms. Allen, I'm going to be a fireman. I looked at him. I said, really? Are you sure about that? Oh, yes, he said. I said, well, you know, firemen run into burning buildings while the rest of us are running the opposite direction. Are you, are you going to do that? And he said, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I said, so if a building was on fire, you would run in to save me? He said, yes, Miss Allen. I was very impressed that I think he was in the 10th grade. It was in the fall of the year. And I said, oh, wow. It's nice that he knows, or he thinks he knows, what he's going to do. We talked a little bit more. I wrote him a pass. He went to class. That young man in the past semester had some downs. I was worried. I worry about all 55 of you. All 55 of you. I was very worried. He had some really low times. However, that young man is sitting in the audience today because he overcame, he pulled himself up to be sitting among all of you today. So wherever it is that you go, remember to pull yourself up. All of us on stage have fallen at some time, but we pulled ourselves up. And we knew when to ask for help. Everyone in here, your family loves you. Love yourself. Ask for help when you need it. Stay true to yourself. And my wish for all of you graduates and your families is that grace and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Because grace and mercy will get you through everything everything. I'll think about you often. Hopefully we're open to everyone and I can come to graduation next year. But this is my last time saying the following. Now, if I can get the first two rows to please stand, walk to your right. We're about to call your name to become a graduate of the Professional Academies Magnet at Lofton High School. And remember, graduates, there are no shaking of hands. You'll stop at Mr. McElroy for your photo. Gage Wallace Bedford. <laughs> Acknowledge. <laughs> Demetrius Omega Blanton. Mark Greenwood Bryant. <laughs> Sadie Madeline Bullock. Clara Grace Ann Bird. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Darian Marquise Lucius Capers. Garrett Michael Castles. <laughs> Tobias Aaron Crane. Brianna Lee Crosby. <laughs> Isam Samir El Ghali. Earl John Palamos Farian. <laughs> Chase Lawton Floyd. Andrea Marie Fowler Wilson. <laughs> Cordero Santiago Gonzalez. Kevin Jamil Guadalupe. <laughs> Ian Edwin Gunter. Omar Haddock. <laughs> Jack Holm. Marquisha Soraya Jackson. <laughs> the valedictorian Thomas Mario Lokendi. Al Patrick Alfonso McCleary. <laughs> Our salutorian, Elias Madrano. Gregory Jeremy Melendez. <laughs> Dalton Evan Miller. <laughs> Michael Terrell Miller.
Quanisha Loche Miller. Miles Stanford Massa Kohler. Tony Isaiah Newsom. Bye, Tony. Sabrina O'Hearn. Christian Joseph Howard Pescuto. <laughs> Keone Lennon Feltz. Logan Jacob Proferes. Cameron Tyler Rembert. Jasmine Unique Richardson. <laughs> David Reinhardt. Amber Serrata Robinson. Bruce David James Rushford. Richard Ian Sailors. Zantavian Jawan Rushing. Yeah. Heaven Sands. Haley Lynn Shepherd. <laughs> Raymond James Shiver. <laughs> Trevor. Andrew Smith. <laughs> Anaya Deshay Strader. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Upshaw. <laughs> oh 
Ayana Marie Thornton. Cree Tremble. Mario Alberto Vargas Ramirez. Patrick Thomas Warren. Vivian Wilburn. Derek Antonio Williams, Jr. Caleb Joseph Zinn. Jalen Chance Willis. And that's the graduating class of Lofton High School 2021. Okay, students, would you please stand? At this time, by the authority granted to me as the principal of Lofton High School, I declare you as high school graduates. Please move your tassel to the other side and turn around and face your families. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain at your seats as the students process out of the auditorium. <laughs> so just go by rows like you came in. Whoa, whoa, there you go. Yeah, going out, Sam, not in. Thank you.